Installing Drupal on Ubuntu should be pretty simple, but first of all we will need Drush, which is the command line application for the Drupal. If you don't have Drush installed, then click on the link which is somewhere here and follow the guide to install the Drush first. When you have Drush, let's begin. Um, I, will, I will install this uh, Drupal into the directory where all of my other website is, uh, but pick uh, pick one which you prefer. For me, it's um, par www slash source. Uh, I will download Drupal right here. So we will use f f the first drush command, which is drush dl Drupal. You can see that it's uh, it's given a few errors, but I think it's nothing really important to do with this. Let's check if it is downloaded and yeah we can see that Drupal is here but I don't like the name so let's rename it into I will use name Drupal for the virtual host for the for the domain for the database name and also for the Drupal website itself um, just for this, this tutorial now go into the directory we can see that the Drupal is fully downloaded okay now what we have to do is to create a database for our Drupal site so let's open up your MySQL console and create database for the Drupal site database created okay um, right now we need to create an, an host entry so let's edit the ATC hosts file note that I have here uh, several more uh, websites which is running on my local machine so I will just add here the new entry let's call it drupal.dev let's save the file okay now we have to create a virtual host in uh, the Apache so let's open up the Apache directory sites available um, I will use one of the previous created configuration uh, feature which was created for another uh, website of my own so let's just copy I don't know into Drupal oh sudo and now just edit this file source Drupal Drupal.dev all.drupal.dev now the directory and the error lock okay once you are done you have to enable this created virtual host so let's go to sites enabled and simply create a symlink Yeah, something was created. So now we just have to restart the Apache. Restart. Okay, and now the Drupal site should be running. So let's check this out. Drupal.dev. Yes, it is running and it wants to install the Drupal itself. So let's choose standard installation, English language, and what can, what can we see here? The directory site's default files does not exist. Okay, let's create it. Um, site default, files. Just for now, uh, let's give the, this uh, to this file directory uh, f the full access 
so Drupal can write into it. Okay, now what else is here? The settings.php needs to be created. So let's just copy the default settings PHP and we also have to give access to this file the settings so Jupa can write into it it will it will uh, write all the things it's need for itself and then we will just set the permission so no one can really write into this file now check if everything is okay yes everything was right now the database name as you remember we create the database name Drupal database username for me it's root and password it is also root now save and continue I hope it will run yes now as you can see it is installing the uh, core modules of Drupal so you will just have to wait a while but it should be just a few seconds just what it's saying that the settings.php file have been made so you should remove the write permissions into it okay let's do this let's give the file um, I think 644 should be enough for settings.php and let's check this yes yes it is site email address give their your address I will give their mine now username epic admin and password I don't know what will be password default country for me it's Slovakia time zone is Europe slash Bratislava and I don't want to check for updates automatically click save and continue yeah and we are done so right now we can visit our fresh new created Drupal site as you can see I am in I'm also logged in and this is all so guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and you can also check out my other videos. Thanks. Thanks for watching.